Let's Get Down to Business is presented by Bravo, the marketing arm of Ash Brokerage Corporation, a practice enhancement company. All this week, it's interviews you can use. And on today's show, top producer and disability group expert, Paul Cella, nationally recognized among physicians in group benefit planning. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and contributing author to Backroom Technician. We're on location in Indianapolis, Indiana. So let's get down to business. Well, welcome to the segment, Paul. Welcome, Steve. Well, you know, we're talking about uh, your, your practice is so unique, and it is. And you're using a product that, in my view, is the most neglected product in insurance, disability insurance. Mm -hmm. But you've taken it to a whole new level because you're really dealing predominantly with physicians. That's correct. And physicians are usually in the ONOC territory. But I've never seen anybody at your stage of your career have such a dominant position with physicians and hospitals using disability insurance. First of all, tell me, how did you get into it? Because you seem to be a little too young to have been in this business 24 years. I'm in the business 24 years. Um, I, I was initially introduced to a doctor by a stockbroker back of when. And it, I call it the Prell commercial. I, I was introduced to one after the other after the other. And then uh, after that, I, I started doing seminars in the hospitals. Uh, doctors, they just seem to understand it. They want disability mm -hmm. and they buy it. And then I started doing these lunch and learn seminars and, and just started going between different hospitals and that's, that's how I started. Why is disability, of all the insurance products, why is disability so important to physicians? Income is the, it's the biggest asset. So, you know, outside of, um, most, most people have life insurance, but, but when you make an income, it's, if you're making 100 or 200 or $500,000 a year, um, you're going to make that for the next 20, 30 years of your career. It, it, I look at it like, I, I call it the money machine. You have a, a money machine in your basement. If that money machine gets broken, mm -hmm. you're not going to make an income. So disability protects that income and makes mm -hmm. sure that you can make that income for the rest of your life. It seems to me in physicians, especially in own OC, where it's very specific mm -hmm. on their skill sets. Correct. When I'm looking at that, and that's such a high value, it's actually, we call it human value. It's the human earning power of Correct. a physician. When you go in there, you're going in though, not just one doctor at a time, you're getting in front of groups. How did that go from a, one person giving you a, a lead and a referral, mm -hmm. and now it's actually being invited into this? Because how many, how many hospitals do you deal with right now? I deal with over 400 uh, physicians, and I'm right now currently in uh, talks with over 20 hospitals throughout the country. And you have actually advisors partnering with you, is that not so? That's correct. How many advisors do you have? Uh, I have over 200 now that nationwide. Come to, nationwide that come to me for training, education, and distribution of some of the products that we've developed. Well, talk a little bit about, is it really group DI then, or are you still writing individual DI? Individual, we write both individual and we have, um, we do custom designs with individual and group DI. So we have a, a custom design this group disability program that we've done, uh, developed mm -hmm. that's a guaranteed issue, but we also couple that and layer that with individual disability. Now, as that is an entree, and it's such a high-end attraction for uh, physicians to protect their income. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I, I totally see that. When you're talking about DI, though, a lot of advisors, this is new to them. I mean, even, they know about disability insurance, but as you said many times, I've heard you say, it, hardly anybody sells this. It's like, what did you say, one, less than 1%? I don't know the exact stat, but I, I believe it's less than 1% of advisors out there sell disability. That was part of my initial attraction. Mm -hmm. There was so few people uh, that got into disability, and, and I call it the lost art. Um, so there's less, it should be less than 1%, but the ones that sell disability, it's typically when the client raises their mm -hmm. hand and not solving the need, that important need of the client. Well, disability is definitely part of defensive planning, no doubt about it. But you've taken it to an, a marquee product. You've really put it up on a, on a billboard. So when I'm looking at that and I'm seeing the, the attraction that physicians have for this, this is your really your entree in. Mm -hmm. So talk about it. You're, 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 when you're, you're having a new doctor, a new facility, a new hospital, what is your opening idea? Because your concept is going to be DI. Mm -hmm. What is the thing that is the number one pull or attraction that they want to hear? They want to hear. Most doctors understand disability. They want it and they mm -hmm. buy it. Um, they typically want more and they think they might be capped out. There might be a health issue. So I'm typically dealing with a, a physician who's in practice. Uh, he's bought his disability either in residency or his fellowship. And 
he's amassed his disability, but maybe because of health concerns, they don't think they can get more. So, mm -hmm. what might is, is that a myth then? Is that a myth about disability? Is it really tough to get it? I mean, oh, it, it is tough to get on the individual basis. Mm -hmm. The requirements are much more stringent than life insurance. On life insurance, you have health concerns. Mm -hmm. You have that with disability. But disability, if you have a, a knee problem or a back problem, mm -hmm. uh, there's other things that come into play. So morbidity underwriting is a lot tougher it's, than It's actually mortality. tougher, yes. It's tougher to get. Well, when you're t you are now are approaching not only physicians uh, in their own private practices or in alliances, but now you're going to hospital affinity groups. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that because to me, that's a whole nother entree into individual doctors. You're going into a hospital in a global view point of view. Right. We, well, do you want me to get into the plan as it's Yeah, let's described? just talk about it. Yeah. The, um, the, the current plan has over 125,000 physicians in it uh, and it serves over 8,500 practices. So this plan, why, it's, um, why hospitals are attracted to it, it has a couple components that are good for the hospital as well as the employed physician that they're trying to attract, retain, and reward. Um, the hospital benefits from this program uh, because there's so many doctors in this program, there's rate stability, the mm -hmm. potential for rate stability for the C-level, the CEO, CFO. There is uh, some components of the plan that benefit the hospital, unlike any other plan on the street. The physician of that hospital is able to buy up from a traditional standard design of a hospital to a higher amount based on his or her income, and they're able to actually protect their pension plan on their dime, not the hospital. So it has unique components that are good for both the hospital and the, uh, and the employer physician. When we come back from the break, we'll continue our interview with top producer and disability group expert, Paul Cella, nationally recognized among physicians in group benefit planning. And don't forget, you can order information on Paul's unique approach to physicians and benefit planning at www.downtobusiness.ashbrokerage.com. When you register, just sign in right on the site. And remember, you can also sign up for your 30-day free trial offer on Backroom Technician at www.brtnow.com forward slash trial sign up dot ASPX. We'll be right back, right after the break. Take a close look at your hard-earned dollar. How do you think your money's doing? Are you keeping an eye on it? Is it protected from taxes, inflation, and market risk? Over time, those Washingtons could become Franklins. With Tax Advantaged Indexed Universal Life, from one of the largest distributors of Index Universal Life, Ash Brokerage. Well, welcome back. I'm Steve Savan. And remember, you can watch all our episodes of Let's Get Down to Business, including my weekly consumer show, Steve Savant's Money, the name of the game, right out at www.ashbrokerage.com. Just click on the show's logo on the homepage, and it'll send you right on out there. And just a heads up, before moving forward with any of the ideas on the show, our show, always consult your tax advisor, your legal counsel, as well as your broker-dealer compliance officer. Well, let's get down to business. We're continuing our interview with producer and disability group expert, Paul Chella, nationally recognized among physicians in group benefit planning. Well, welcome back to the second segment, Paul. We were talking about a lot of your key advocate programs, but you were talking about these four components. Let's walk through it and try to give me the layman's term. The because, layman's term. Because you're really, you're really, when we're in morbidity underwriting and all these things with physicians, it's really a language unto itself, isn't mm -hmm. it? So let's try to see if we can decrypt the, the language, get a little dialogue you know, on this, and tell me your four basic ideas. Okay, so the four basic ideas are this. We can get up to $25,000 a month of disability coverage per physician, uh, income, assuming income uh, applies, a guaranteed issue, which means there's no underwriting. So that's a big component because wow. when you have a, a group component. of doctors, somebody always has a health issue mm -hmm. and that kills, you know, kills the Which situation. sounds to me to be so counterintuitive that the physician himself has problems. <laughs> okay. So we can get up to $25,000 of ONOC specialty mm -hmm. coverage. And the key to this plan is it's layered on top of their individual coverage without offsetting the individual. That's important. So, so they don't make the total amount of coverage? They don't include both of them? No, they do. So this, this, this coverage lays on top of their individual mm -hmm. without offsetting so that if a doctor becomes disabled, he mm -hmm. or she will collect their individual and the group on top of it. Wow. So again, they're always looking for more. Mm -hmm. The second component to this is a malpractice um, component, which pays their malpractice premium up to $75,000. 
if they're partially disabled. Mm -hmm. A partial disability is if you can work two hours a day, three days a mm -hmm. week. Um, so that is a unique feature that I help the company, uh, a company design and develop. <clears throat> the next piece is uh, something called a um, key person rider, which it will provide up to $180,000 to the practice hmm. in the event that doctor is disabled and that $180,000 is paid out for two years and it could be utilized to bring in another doctor, offset expenses, or apply towards a buyout. So it's very uh, rich and unique in its design. The last component is the most powerful and this is the one doctors, when they hear, um, it, it really um, plays well because it, it covers a, a multitude of contingencies. The last component is called a pension rider, and what the pension rider does is it pays their qualified plan contribution and employer match up to $51,000 all the way through retirement. So I'll say it in, in a simple term, mm -hmm. is that assuming you have a 45-year-old doctor and you have half a million dollars uh, accumulated in a 401k profit sharing plan, most practices have a 401k profit sharing plan. Assuming you have $500,000 and you are 45 years old and you have another 20 years to go, um, retiring at 65 in my example, and you're contributing your $50,000, if we ever get interest again, mm -hmm. the 50,000 plus interest and the 500 would grow to a mountain of money, let's just say a million eight or whatever, and that would be the, <clears throat> the retirement monies that the doctor would take. If a doctor becomes disabled, most plans only pay the disability amount well, all those contributions, all those $50,000 would stop, and that five hundred dollars may only grow to $750,000 mm -hmm. if you're disabled. This plan continues to make those payments as if you were working so that you'll have that million eight. So it's actually funding your retirement during disability. During disability. So it's covering a, a multiple contingencies. Mm -hmm. So I always tell a doctor, if you tell me how, to, how you're going to become disabled, I'll tell you what to buy. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's design the most effective plan, efficient plan out there. Is that the most attractive out of these four components? Does that really catch their eye? That's the one that catches everybody's to, to eye. To me, that's the close. Yeah. Uh, because to me, that when I'm sitting there, not only I'm disabled, I'm getting my income, but I'm usually using that for my domestic expenses. Now I'm taking this. This is funding my retirement. Exactly. A sizable. This is not a small contribution. It's huge. Well, I love that. You know, you were talking about, you do a lot of case studies. I mean, you've seen so many of these. Give me an example of one of your, what I would call, Real stories, real success. Okay. Um, I have a group that I'm working uh, with, or and I just completed. It's, it's an 82-person anesthesiology group, and it's in the Midwest. And this group has, uh, I may have the numbers off, but it's about uh, 15 people are over 58, and there's a bunch of doctors under 58, 67, mm -hmm. I think that's, if the math's right. And basically with, with what happens is they had a flat benefit of $5,000 for all the doctors, $5,000 a month. When you're talking about an anesthesiologist, they make a lot of money. That's, that's not a rich plan. Mm -hmm. that's, that's n it's not enough. So w what I did is I'm, I'm working with the plan uh, a CFO, and basically we talked about you know getting 82 doctors, and very doctors are very smart people. Getting 82 really bright, smart people together, is, it's easier to herd 82 mm -hmm. cats. Mm -hmm. So basically what I was talking with the CFO was, why do you have the 5,000? They couldn't agree on, 82 people couldn't agree on it. So when we talk about custom designs, we talk about giving everybody what they want. And typically, the more mature people, in this case over 58, they don't want any more disability. Mm -hmm. The younger crowd wants to get even higher amounts, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month. So, in in a short short order fashion, we were able to divide the group, create classes, give the younger people the higher amounts instead of five, getting them up to fifteen and twenty with different classes, covering their pension contribution, which meant a lot to them. And on the mature crowd, we were able to take a minimal benefit take what the cost would have been if they all had the same amount, and then we applied that difference to long-term care because that was important to them. Oh, I could see that. And you, so they allowed this, this plan actually allowed you to partition by age group demographic. And I can totally see the older uh, gentleman wanting to have long-term care. That is their play now. Right. So, and, and did you actually sell that as an individual or a group? On as, the a group as a group oh, plan. That's so you, you actually can't discriminate by age or sex, mm -hmm. but you can discriminate by class type. So we created two. We actually created three different classes for the group. Um, administration physicians, non-administration physicians, so you can do things like that. So you that. create the classes, you can kind of partition what benefits they want, and then add up, which I, again, I find fascinating as a baby boomer, 
I can add on LTC as a group. Correct? That's correct. Wow. Well, that's our show for today. Remember, you can read all my online insurance news commentary, advisor blogs, and articles right on Producers Web, as well as my answers to consumer questions on the Insurance Library. And don't forget, you can view all our past episodes on our on-demand video section located at www.downtobusiness.ashbrokerage.com. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, or just email me at steve.savant at ashbrokerage.com. And remember, you could be wiser as an Ash Brokerage Advisor.